Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. I'd just like to introduce you to a new bit of software that's come out on Steam, or at least it came out a few days ago from today. And that is Game Character Hub. And at the minute it's 35% off, so you can pick it up for around £7.50, I believe. And it works, I guess, in a similar way to Photoshop, but it gives you a lot of different or specific options for RPG Maker. Now, it doesn't explicitly have a VX uh, Ace option, but you can fiddle around with it and make it work. So I might do some tutorials at some point about it, especially when I've got to know it a bit more, but I've just had a fiddle with it for a bit and seen its capabilities. And the other good thing about it is, as well, if you see if there's a sprite that you want to use and obviously you have sufficient rights to in your game, and it's from an older version, this will convert it over for you, which is really good, although I don't have one to show you of that. And you can merge tile sets as well, which is very useful, and make changes to tile sets in this program, and it will add transparency and that sort of stuff for you. You can also create sprites off the bat, which is I'm gonna, what I'm gonna show you today, just for a very small, um, demonstration I suppose. So it starts off with this as your main grid size but if you want to do a VX Ace then you, if you want it to be in VX Ace, sorry, then you need to change the grids. So I can't remember what it needs to be now, which is stupid of me. Um, it needs to be 12 by 12. No, that's not right. Uh, So VX Ace frames are three by four. So if there's to be, so it's going to be twelve by sixteen. I think that's right. No, that's too long. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <clears throat> Okay, I'm just going to load one in instead. <laughs> um, right. So it's 12 by... It's 12 by 8. Um, and that way it will go into... RPG Maker correctly, or VXA's correctly, or at least that's what I believe. So I'm going to try that now. So we're going to go 12 by 8. I'm just going to call this one Test. And you can also change the pixel width and that sort of thing, which is useful for larger sprites. So there is a VX option, a V and a XP option. Now they're obviously going to be a lot easier to use with this, but uh, it can work for. What am I doing? It can work um, for VX Ace as well. So I'm going to make a male, human, and give him red boxes. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep, that's where I want him. That's good. You get all these different options to do, and if it does give you a tutorial as well when you start, which will basically just go through this stuff. <laughs> uh, so let's give him a. Should I give him a cloak? I don't even know. Elegant cloak, a brown cloak. And give him some hair. Long grey hair. Uh, long purpley silver hair. I think. Oh wow! Well, I think he really needs some trousers. <laughs> so, where's? Can I find trousers? Bandana, helmet, shoulders, animal ears. Uh, no, I don't want any of that. I want trousers. Cloak, cloth. There we go. Uh, we'll give him oh green mage that looks pretty cool. So you do all get these you get all these different ones that will come with it to make things a bit more interesting. I'll give him villager clothes because you know why not? There he looks like a oh I've done it the wrong way around. Whoops! So now I need to give him the cloak. Oh, 
Wrong click. There we go. I did the layers wrong, so that's my fault. And get rid of that. So as you can see, the preview isn't actually working at the minute because he's tucked up here in this corner, unfortunately. But you know, once you've made him, you can then save as, and it gives you a thing about you know what you might want to save it as. Image. Where shall I save it to? We'll do desktop, I suppose. All right, and then. I will open up VXACE. I was already on software. That's sad of me. And here it is here, which is my testing screen or the place where I test different things. Uh, there is a obviously the character development that come with that comes with VXACE, but of course this is a bit more in depth than that. And I wanted characters. It is characters, isn't it? Yeah. Import. So I'm not sure if this will, if I've done it exactly correctly, but we'll try. And there you go, test, apply, and that's it. Made your own sprite. I mean, of course, you can get into the more nitty gritty if you want with it, but everything works well. Although I've still got the shaking island, which is killing my eyes. <laughs> Another good feature of it is that it allows you to merge tile sets as well. Um, so I've just got some generic tile sets here, but if we take this and this one, you can see that obviously there are two different things in there. One's a statue and one is a tree. And you can choose where you want them. It doesn't really make that much difference. And you click on OK. And I will just save over that test. Assuming it lets me. Yep. And we will open that and see what it comes out as. Ah, right. Well, that didn't... <laughs> that didn't work perfectly in that example, probably because of the positioning of each, but I've tried it with other ones, and it does work. Embarrassing. Um, but, yeah. But for the price, you know, if you are making an RPG Maker game, then I would, you know, I'd recommend this. Um, it obviously take a while to get used to and to be able to master it. But you get a bit more customization of your sprites, of course, the tile set merging, um, the ability to make the changes as well is quite nice and having all the different various options all set out for you and the character conversion is really useful as well. Uh, so something I'd recommend considering getting, especially at the minute, as for the next couple of days it is 35% off. Um, it just allows you to differentiate yourself a bit from it and you know of course you can find templates of characters that you might like and you can easily make changes to them because you can you know the hair will be added in the correct place for the sprite and that sort of stuff um, but hopefully you found this useful maybe this is a program you weren't too sure about but it is one that I can say will that I will find very useful and this is something I've been spending my time playing with and I will be learning how to you know master this as well um, but of course if you want to see a tutorial on anything to do with this and if I can provide it then I will do and I probably will provide some tutorials anyway once I am sure of myself in using the program um, but thank you very much for watching everybody and I'll see you very soon goodbye